What's good, YouTube? It's Chief Montana Boy, your favorite stretch five. And look, I'm back with another video, man. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Now, to set up your Agato is super, super simple. The only thing you're going to need is the HDMI cord that came with your PS4, the HDMI cord that came with the Elgato, and then the, the USB-C port that came, the USB-C cord that came with the Elgato. Then you're going to need your PlayStation, uh, PS4, PS Slim, it don't matter. And then you just need your computer. It's really that simple. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your Elgato, like so. And then we're going to start with the part where it says N, the side that says N. We're going to grab the HDMI cable that came with the Elgato, and we're going to plug it into the N part, like so. And then we're going to plug the other side into the back of the PS4. Now, you want to grab your USB-C port, your USB-C cable, and you want to plug it into the same side where you plugged in, where you just plugged in the HDMI. See that little slot right there? Right there. Just plug it in right there. And then you're going to plug in the other side into your computer. See, go ahead and plug in the other side into your computer. Now make sure it's a 3.0 USB port because if it's not, it's not going to work. Um, when I first got it, I plugged into the 2.0 USB port and it didn't work. So make sure it's a 3.0 USB port. There you go. Plug it in. And then lastly, just get the, the HDMI that came with your PS4. And you're going to go ahead and plug it into the part where it says out. See right there where it says out. You're going to go ahead and plug in the US, the HDMI cable. And then the other side is going to be plugged into your TV. Super simple. There's three versions of the Elgato. First, you have the regular HD60, the HD60S, and the HD60S+. Plus. Now, the biggest difference between the HD60S and the HD60S+, Plus is the fact that with the Plus, you can capture gameplay in up to 4K. With the HD60S, you can record up to 1080p 60 frames per second, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I know it's 1080p. So the first thing you're going to do is go to Elgato's website. I'm going to have the link in the description uh, just to make it easier for y'all. But if you search Elgato in Google, and then when it comes up, you're going to click on the Downloads tab, the Download section. And then now, right here is, 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 is the key. With, it, with the HD60S, you're going to download the Game Capture for Windows. So it's different. You're going to download Game Catcher for Windows. Now, if you have the Plus, you got to scroll down and you got to download the 4K Capture Utility for Windows. Now, once you have a download, you just want to go ahead and open it. You want to click Next. Accept. Click Next. 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 And then you're going to click install and then just wait for it to install. So super simple, man. Elgato made it super simple. Um, and, I, and that's one of the things that I can appreciate about them. So right now it's just installing. Click finish. All right. Now you're going to open it. Make sure all your plugs are already plugged in. Uh, as far as the Elgato into the PS4 and the TV and into the, and the computer. Now for settings, uh, I just move, I just played around with the settings a little bit. I mean, you can really do what you want with it, but I like to capture the gameplay at uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now I could just do 4K, but I just know like it's just gonna over, like it's just gonna be too much for my for my computer because I, I don't have like a super super like high-end computer, so I just want to make sure that everything's recorded smoothly, and I'm telling you, it's just as good, man. Just do 1080p at 60 frames per second, and it's going to record really, really good. Click Game Capture uh, for the audio input, HDMI audio. Uh, you can pretty That's pretty much default settings. Uh, as far as the recording, um, you can choose where you want your recordings to be. 
Uh, the Elgato automatically does this, like it automatically uh, creates a folder called 4K Capture. Uh, if you have the 60S Plus, and it's gonna record all your videos there. So it's gonna go to your videos folder, and it's gonna go to the it's gonna go to videos, and then the 4K Capture folder. For the video encoder, I just went ahead and just put on automatic. Um, I, I didn't really want to mess with that too much. Now for enable HDR, um, I kind of just leave that alone. Now I do have an HDR TV and uh, whenever I'm recording, it automatically picks up the HDR. So you don't really have to even select this if you have an HDR TV. Like the Elgato is automatically going to pick it, it's automatically going to pick it up. So. All right, and the format again, 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, as far as the bit rate, I just left it at what it was, default settings. Um, I don't want to play with that too much. And then now this is huge right here. Now, when, when I first got it, my Elgato wouldn't work. Like it kept saying, like it kept saying unsupported. So what I had, I had enabled flash recording. Like I had it enabled and my Elgato wouldn't work. So if you're having any issues, with like it's saying that it's not supporting or you're getting any type of error messages, try to disable flash recording. That worked for me. Um, so, you know, it's just something to be aware of. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna disable that. Now for the mic, if you have a mic, you can go ahead and, and put the audio, put your microphone through the audio input. Uh, for me, I, I'm not gonna be using a mic today, so I'm just gonna leave it at default. And then just click OK, man. Now I'm going to turn on my PS4. And as you can see, everything is working pretty, pretty good. So yeah, man, it's super simple. I had the HD 60S. And I'm telling you, man, the Plus is so much better. Like, it's so much smoother. Now, it looks a little laggy here because I'm using OBS um, to record my screen. But as far as the Elgato, it's, it's working perfectly. Now one, thing, now, one thing you guys need to be aware of. You know, you also need to disable your HDCP. If you have that enabled, uh, the Elgato won't work. I don't know why, but um, this is this is in my experience. It don't matter what model you have, you can have the HD60 or the Order Plus, and you always need to disable the HDCP. And you could do that by going to System to System, and as you can see, I already have it disabled. So. If it's enabled, you just want to go ahead and disable it. If, now, if you don't do this, it won't work. So you have to disable the HDCP. Now, now that we got all of that set up, you want to go to sound and screen. And you want to go to video output settings. And if for resolution, you want to go ahead and select whatever resolution that, that the Elgato has. So like I said, I'm recording at 1080p at 60 frames, at 60 frames per second. So I'm gonna to go to my video output settings and I'm gonna have it at 1080p as well. That's just to make sure that everything like goes smoothly. And again, that lag is not from the Elgato, it's from my computer uh, because I'm recording the screen on my computer using a different software, so it's not the Elgato. And to record, just press the record button. Super easy. Yeah, and uh, your gameplay should be, uh, should be recording. And yeah, man, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Like, it's super simple. It's, it's just a few things that you have to do. And once you get it set up, you can just fire it every time. You don't have to keep playing with the settings, man. It's super simple, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, I hope that this tutorial was clear enough. And man, if you learned something, like, comment, and subscribe, man. And I'm out.